What is up, team? Hello. Today we're talking about adding polynomials, learning target right here. Uh, it says I can find the sum of two different polynomials. So what we're going to talk about today is adding polynomials and a quick review for you. Uh, like terms are terms that have the exact same variables raised to the exact same exponent. So we're going to review that a little bit. Behind me, I have a chart. These are all like terms. These are five different sets of like terms. Here's five different sets of terms that are not necessarily alike. So let's examine these. Now this first one, 3x, 15x, negative 2x. They all have the exact same variable. In this case, it's x, and they're all raised to the exact same variable or uh, exponent. In this case, it's 1, uh, and that doesn't show. Uh, over here, we have 3x, 15, and negative 2x. These are not like terms because this 15, um, it does not have the variable raised to the same power. These two on the outside are like terms, but the whole set is not necessarily. Next. Negative 2x squared minus, uh, or sorry, 2x squared, negative 11x squared, and 1,000x squared. Those are all like terms. They all have an x squared in them, and that is the only variable. We could combine these. Over here, 2x squared, negative 11x, and 1,000x squared. Not like terms because this one in the middle messes things up. Number three, 6xy, 11xy, negative 10xy. Those are all like terms. It's a little bit different, a little bit weird, but they all have the exact same variables raised to the exact same power. In this case, it's an x, y. Over here, 6x, y, uh, 11x, and negative 10, y. Well, there's x's and y's kind of throughout, but they're not all the same. They need to all have this exact x, y, or just the x, or just the y, for them to be like terms, like what we have here. Next, we have three constants, 6, 11, negative 2. Of course we can combine those. Those are all like terms. No variables are present, so those are like terms. Over here, 6x, 11, negative 2, not like terms because the x messes things up. Again, you can combine these two, but not all three of them. Number five, 7, xy squared, negative 2xy squared, 17xy squared. They all have the xy squared. In this case, they have an x that is not being squared or anything. Nothing's happening to the x, just multiplying. And then the y squared is in each of them. And they're all exactly the same in terms of variables. Over here, you have 7xy squared, negative 2xy squared. So far, so good. Um, but then this one over here, you have a 17x squared y. This looks so close to the same, but it is so different. Um, here, the x is being squared, whereas the others, the y is being squared. Those are not like terms. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm going to pause here, and then we're going to talk polynomials. Okay, adding polynomials is a three-step process, or you can look at it as a three-step process. Step one, dump the parentheses. Step two, you're going to rearrange all the terms so that the like terms are by one another. Uh, that's not how to spell R. Let's fix that real quick. And step three, combine like terms. These are all steps independently, pretty simple. We're going to put them all together, and you'll see it's not too crazy. First example, we have two binomials that we're adding together, x minus 2 plus 2x plus 5. Step by step, remove the parentheses. So we're going to keep things in the same order. We're going to say x minus 2 plus 2x plus 5. So we're keeping the signs that are uh, in front of each of these terms. And now we have this uh, longer polynomial. Now we're going to rearrange so that the like terms are by one another. So we're going to identify the like terms. I see an x, I see an x, and then I see the two constants. So it's going to be x plus 2x. We know it's plus because there's a positive here. Now we have this negative 2. We need to keep the negative. That's what, this is the part that messes most folks up, is dropping negative signs. Then we have a plus 5. Again, we have two sets of like terms. Step 3, we're just going to combine our like terms. 1x plus 2x yields 3x's. Over here, negative 2 plus 5, that's just 3. We have added our two binomials together x minus 2 plus 2x plus 5, when you add those two binomials together, it is 3x plus 3. Let's do one a little bit more complicated and wrap this thing up. 2y squared plus 3y plus 6, that's a trinomial, plus this binomial of 3y squared minus 4. Same steps. First, we're going to take the parentheses away. 2y squared plus 3y plus 6 plus 3y squared minus 4. Again, keep track of those negative signs. Super, super important. We don't lose them. Step two, rearrange so the like terms are by one another. 2y squared, that's this one. If you're like me, you're, you might like lose track of what you've written down and what you haven't. So I'm going to cross things out as I go so I don't double up and I make sure I don't miss anything. So I've already uh, captured my 2y squared. I'm going to cross that out so I don't get it again. 
looking for another y squared. Here's one right here. 3y squared. Again, cross it out because I already have it. Um, and then I have a 3y. I don't see any other y's here. Adding 6 and subtracting 4. You'll notice both times I did this, I didn't say these words, but I should have. I'm putting these in standard form. Um, so the highest power is out front, and it's getting smaller. So over here, the highest power was 1. They got smaller. Here, the highest power is 2. Then we have a, a term of degree 1 and then the constants. Okay, step 3, and we're done. Combine our like terms. Here, these are our y squareds. I see two of them and then three more of them. So we have five y squareds. Here, there are no other like terms with this 3y. So 3y is just going to be 3y. Um, and then 6 minus 4, of course, is 2. When we add this trinomial and this binomial together, we get 5y squared plus 3y plus 2. This is adding polynomials in a real quick nutshell. Uh, go ahead and check out those practice problems. Let me know if you have questions.